So hi guys and welcome to another episode of Pure Vibes. I'm your host tonight, Jory Massey, and with me we have two special guests. Rocky. Shanda. Guys, do better than that. Hi, I'm Rocky. <laughs> Hi, my name is Lashanda. Yes. <laughs> so the topic tonight, we had um somebody sent in a topic, and um, we're just gonna discuss it. So the question has two parts, and we're gonna deal with one part first, and then the second part later. So the first part, Chandler, you wanna read the first part? I'm gonna read the first part. Stop looking at the paper. All right. Do women still have less sexual freedom today than they did in the past? Okay. So, the women okay, still have <laughs> <laughs> that deep breath it took like. <laughs> okay, so um, who wants to start on this question? In all fairness, ladies first. So, okay. I'm Dead. I'm not this young lady, all right. So. so, I have discrepancies about this question because first of all, um. We actually have more freedom today than we did back then. The fact that we can actually wear shorts without being reprimanded for it or locked up for it. Um, the fact that you can have your cleavage out and not be kicked out of classes, you know, things like that. True. Um, but I'm wondering if the person meant, could you see it as uh, like job opportunities in terms of what if the person mean like in terms of your sexuality would men have I wanna know what you're reaching here. <laughs> like how far is you reaching? Um. Okay. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, um, okay, you know how men had more opportunities back then in terms of job positions and those kind of things. So would you try to say like they mean not necessarily No? So it's all in appearance. Yeah, I'm trying yeah, to figure out if they're meaning appearance or they, they could be physically. Meaning, yeah, physical. I, I think there's a physical aspect to it. Okay. We'll, we'll just go on. The, Both of them. What's Shanda the saying? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Shut now. me down. Okay. <laughs> no, we're not shut me down. We just want to say that we need to use what we got to get a job. You know, we don't want it to turn into that kind of question. True, you know? true. Okay. Because then that's a whole nother topic of feminism that we're not going to touch tonight. No. Well, at least it's, it's your show. Right now. Unless Jory wants to go there. Uh, no, no. You don't? no. Okay. <laughs> okay, Shanda, so go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm done. Oh. <laughs> okay, um, I'd say that we have more sexual freedom than we do back then. Than we did back then. Uh, in terms of just looking at, okay, for example, I'm going back to the profession, but not the men. I mean, in terms of somebody stripping or anything back then, you would think it had a, a bad rep. But no, everybody's doing it. It's like, a, they call them the exotic dancers. And I mm -hmm. guess it's okay. So I, in that way, you would say that they have more sexual freedom in that sense. Because people looking at it as just a means of supporting your family. And, you know. So would you all agree with that? I honestly would. But then again, there are some people who just want to be extra difficult and be too holy to the point like, oh, you shouldn't be doing that. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, if I shouldn't be doing the, that, you pay my bills. See where I'm coming from? True. I feel like we should also add that question about the judgment thing. Because I could actually follow into this. I'm just, yeah. sorry. Because <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, don't worry about it. We just might get them. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. okay. So what other examples would you say that show you that we have more sexual freedom today? Um, are we just looking at it from a female's perspective? Or are we doing it both females? Oh, I mean, that's, that's a good question. Yeah. That's, that's a good question. Though, like. nah, I, thought, I, thought, I thought you would have touched up on both, but I see nah, you only nah. touched up on the female side. Because I can only speak from a female's point of view. I know, but you know, you could have an idea on guys. Well, how about you say? 
like tell us do you think women have more sexual freedom today yeah yeah of course because back in the day it was all when, when you go back to the clothing you know long dress well take it take it from someone from a place where they cover their faces mm -hmm. those religions you know they could uncover their faces a little bit now you know just saying mm -hmm. not <laughs> long, but you know they still have it on but yeah no long dresses you see people with short pants like Shannon said cleavage showing arms out you know some of them don't have good arms but you know just cool um, <laughs> but yeah um they definitely do have more than back then would you say that it's it's a there's a cultural difference though like for, for us growing up in the caribbean compared to americans because i know americans they just dress according to the weather like when it's summer they basically wear nothing and home, I don't know if that happened in your in the Bahamas. Yeah, cause but home for us, like we're in shorts and yeah, so was like it's summer all the time. In the Bahamas, exactly, so, so yeah. like everyone's wearing shorts, but oh. it all depends on where you go into. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It depends on the occasion. You'll never see me in one of these in the Bahamas. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, I also wanted to ask, like, do you guys think that this isn't a question here, but it's now raised? Do you think that celebrities actually? have a huge impact on having sexual freedom because now you see the reality shows like love and hip-hop and real housewives of whatever and all of that happening and in within those shows you see women glorifying their sexual mm -hmm. experiences mm -hmm. um telling you not to be ashamed of whatever it is you feel you need to do and like i don't think that's a wrong i don't think that's a bad thing because you need people like that especially for those females who are growing up and they're feeling insecure about themselves based on everything that they've grown up around you see what i'm saying kind of true but do you think that they give these young girls false hope too in terms of how they look so you don't think like the girls try to look like them i mean most yeah in some aspects yes but it also depends on what you want to portray. Like, you could still be sexy and not be slutty. Yeah. Pretty, okay. soon, pretty soon we'll have people <coughs> that can see through uniforms. <laughs> <laughs> With babies and pregnant right. babies wearing the dazzle stuff, you know? Uh, right. Soon, but I guess it's what you're comfortable in. Okay. So the people see it there and they're going to be like, okay, I'm going to wear this. She sees something else. Okay, I'm going to wear that now. If I feel like this is appropriate for this, then yeah. okay, I'll wear it because okay. you know, she showed me how to wear it. And on top of that, it's like everything, a lot of people want to say everything you see celebrities do, other yeah, people yeah. do. That is not true. Like, if I see you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> like, think about it, it's not always true. Like, if you see this one celebrity looking extra good in this extra revealing dress, ain't no act. Like, there's a pretty slim chance that you want to go out and look for the same exact dress because nine times out of ten you're not going to look the exact same way. True. You're probably going to look like, yeah, I'm not going to say that, but you probably, <laughs> yeah, you probably wouldn't meet the standard you was looking for. Okay. So anything else y'all want to share or we can move on to the second part of the question? Male, males always had sexual freedom. Never yes, changed. which was so unfair. <laughs> But technically, y'all don't have much to wear any way. I mean, the <laughs> pants and the shirt. <laughs> Yo, like, this style is so easy. I don't understand how the only thing you have to wear is a pants pant. and a shirt and you still can't dress. <laughs> <laughs> what? Like, you mean to tell me you can't, like, choose the right shoes to match with that? Like, you can't, you can't make your belt match with what you wear. You cool. yeah, that, apparently, that's a style, you know, we don't wear matching belts. Mm. Okay. I, I might be wearing a red outfit and wear like a green belt. Oh no. Mm -mm. I mean, unless it's Christmas, you'll get away with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the second half of the question said Is a woman who doesn't follow social norms still considered a hoe? I used what to be a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> you know, before the time, time not long ago, I, I was a hoe. Okay. Come on, everyone knows that. <laughs> Someone's gonna sing that with us when they're watching this. I promise. Okay. So, okay, Rocky, you take it away. Well, when you're mm -hmm. talking about hole, what what is a hole really? What what constitutes That's a good question. A mm -hmm. What gives power to the word hole? Yeah. Like, 
I, I know ho is something you pick up and do. So man. Nah, we women. Okay, um, well back then, of who I was considered, you know, if you stepped around with guys, mm -hmm. back then, I don't know what, what it is now. It's basically the same thing, but some men, they just want to throw ho on everything. For example, um, I've seen this happen. Let's say there's this female and she sleeps with this guy and the guy tells his friend, so his friend tries to sleep with the female. But she doesn't want to sleep with him, so she's a hoe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which makes no sense. <laughs> that's like that's tell me you've not heard that though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm like what? Well, I don't feel. In your opinion, Rocky, we need a guy's opinion. Yeah. What would you, who would you consider? Not who, but. Who? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. We don't. We don't want to know who, but who? No. Yes. Um, a hoe in my eyes is someone you know. Is conscious of sleeping with a bunch of different people and you know does things that you know other people wouldn't be so proud of doing and open with it. So prostitute is a hope. Yeah. I mean not necessarily she's paid. Yeah so not that's, necessarily that's getting job. but then again if you look at it everything that's a working job. Every, everything everything you're getting paid for you're doing something True. for something else so it's a form of payment. True. So. So, could you, so the question is can you be a hoe in a relationship? I mean, you you said yeah, it's you, payment for payment. So if you're in a committed relationship, <laughs> that's you can be a hoe to your partner. <laughs> that's <laughs> different. Hmm. Okay, oh, how about this? You have to part. be single. <laughs> or no, no, no. You can't take that. I can't take that. No, no, no. You really can. I think we need to take this question, you know, take it apart because it says, is a woman still. It's a woman who doesn't follow social norms. What are social norms? What would you consider um, social norms nowadays? From a moral point of view? Social norms being like, okay, everybody has a Snapchat. Mm -hmm. Everybody uses Snapchat. So that, that could be considered a social norm, like being on social media or wearing a certain type of clothing at this time. Exactly. So this, this is why this question confuses me because... It's just like the pre previous question. I think we have more sexual freedom today, so... Um. I like everything. Like, there's nothing... <clears throat> excuse me. There's nothing that's consider, considered too normal anymore because, for example, homosexuality, that's now a norm. Mm -hmm. And back then, it wasn't a norm anymore. Like, I'm going to touch on these. It wasn't a norm anymore. Mm -hmm. um, polygamy, back then... Well, it kind of was, but back then, it's not as accepted as it is yeah. right now. Um, people getting divorces, that, would, that wasn't accepted back then as much as it's accepted right now. Mm -hmm. So, it's like, there's nothing new under the sun. These reality shows right. with men going through how many women to find the perfect true love. So, like, would that be considered your norm no. now? I guess. So... Y'all taking shots at Trey songs, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, you won't see that.